Welcome aboard. No, you're not crazy. I do not have my center IPAP mount here. There's not a problem with it. However, as I mentioned in a previous video, I'm putting it in the 550. So I'm trying to get a feel for if I had the 550, um, how would things work if I just use the center mount with the IFD. I'll have charts and everything else involved. So, so today we're heading off to Craig Airfield from Punta Gorda to Craig. I filed um, Punta Gorda, Rogan, Craig. So let's get the ATIS and then let's get our clearance. Flight order tower information, Charlie. Time 1751 Zulu. Wind 240 at 5. Visibility 10. Sky scattered 3700. Temperature 34, 2.20. Altimeter 3008. Remarks lightning distant south. Landing and departing runway 22. Visual approaches in use. Constant increase productivity throughout the field. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Charlie. All right, we have Charlie. Good afternoon, but I'm going to go to the ground. Baron 3175 Whiskey with Charlie to pick up my IFR to Craig. Baron 3175 Whiskey, trying to go to ground. You're cleared to Charlie Romeo Golf Airport as filed. Maintain 2000, expect 9000, one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency 125.15 and squawk 1317. Clear to Craig as filed, 2,000, 9,000, one, zero minutes, 125.15, one, and squawk 1317 for 3175 Whiskey. November 3175 Whiskey, right back, Craig. All right, come on, flight plan. We'll go ahead and put in Rogan. R-O-G, there's the Rogan, enter. Next waypoint is actually just gonna be Craig, so K-C-R-G. I'm gonna go to ground. Enter. Airport 2, I'm then on we have uh, activated flight plan. I'd like to head out to the reels on 4. Go ahead and click on the map. There we can see we got Rogan. Then Craig. Airport 2, I'm here on uh, GPS. Uh, Confirm it is there. It is. And Airport I prefer two. this on this view right here. Put it to the ground. Baron 3175, let's get the south airplane ready to taxi to the active for our departure. 3175 Whiskey Punta Gorda Ground, runway 22, taxi via Delta, Golf, Alpha, cross runway 33 at Golf. 22 via Delta, Golf, Alpha, cross 33 at Golf for 3175 Whiskey. November 3175 Whiskey Punta Gorda Tower, runway 22, fly runway heading, you're clear for takeoff. 22 runway heading, clear for takeoff, 3175 Whiskey. All right. Runway heading 22 to 2,000 feet. We are clear left, we are clear right. It is 90 degrees outside, so I'm gonna put my fuel pumps on low. Land lights on, strobes on. All right, lights in more action. All right. Gage is in the green. Uh, no 
So you can see in front of us there's some rain off to our directly in front of us at 11 o'clock and a little bit more to our uh, 10 o'clock. For your 8 5 thank you very much. And uh, my, might be able to uh, see on, on the radar. All right, showing up our eyes there. Video you saw. Uh, American, uh, 2, 3, 14, you've got some new toys. Right here to get 
Of course, you know about the uh, the headsets, and you know about my upgrades that are coming. Go right, a little right IFD uh, 550. We can do that 130 heading right now. We'll be going right here. Looking forward to that. Just let them know you're making that turn. Oh, yeah, a few other tours as well. So, another tour I have is called the Air Text. So I now have this device that is capable of sending and receiving um, up to six uh, people in uh, one airplane via Bluetooth, via a special app and send and receive text messages via Iridium satellites. So it's pretty cool. Um, wherever you set your favorites, you'll automatically get alerts when you are in the air. No one else will, will know unless you text them or um, have them set as a favorite. And then they actually receive an alert um, that tells them that you're texting them from a different number, and that's you. And then they can respond there, and then once you land, it tells them that you've landed, and to go ahead and uh, go back to texting you on a normal number. So as you can see here, a uh, buddy of mine got an alert and uh, he sent me a message saying uh, I'd be more interested if you were flying in the 320. So that's my, uh, my buddy who uh, has a beautiful Cessna 320. So I responded with haha. And, uh, but it's more than just that, not just text messaging, right? So it has another feature called um, an FBO link. And so with the FBO link, you can also um, talk to the actual uh, FBO at the airport. So, for example, I'm just going to pick one randomly, and I'll just pick uh, CLD with Charlotte. And I can see there's Wilson Air. And so, I can just simply go and message Wilson Air. And let them know, hey, I'm, I don't know how, how far out I am, what's my ETA, etc. Let them know what I'll need and what's going on. So, um, that is a new feature, and FBO is in the process of getting on board. With that. Approach, uh, Nothing you can do is you can request uh, weather. Besides the digital eight assist, you can request VTARs on it. Staff and ASOS. Well. And the VTARs, staff, and ASOS, you can request from any airport. It's coming handy. Uh, um, I know with ADSB, we get a lot of that. But when you are outside of ADSB area, say you're in the Bahamas, uh, you, can't, uh, you can't pick that up. But with this, you can. So, um, another big feature that's coming out is they're going to have where you can pick up your um, your clearance, your craft. Of, uh, and this is this is already done. They're just waiting for the FAA to approve it. But you can pick up your craft on the ground through the satellites through your phone. And so you just acknowledge clear to routing altitude frequency transponder, and then it'll ask you how long till you're ready to leave. You tell it, and then once you tell it, it will then um, give you a void by time. So it comes in handy when you're at one of those remote, uncontrolled airports. And uh, yeah, three one seven five whiskey, and how is Dirt Craig looking for you? Does that look good? Yeah, for the moment, I, I think so. Uh, the ADSB is showing some some significant weather up ahead, but at the moment, it looks like I might be below it. Oh, 
boy. Um, okay, let's... Actually, on my Airborne 30 right, I'm seeing some, uh, some severe, so let's go ahead and just do 30 left.
start speeding up. Okay, stop at 11. Now we've got to get as soon as you can. We need to get on band on this stuff. There's that sun. For those of you who have not been on BaronPilot.net, uh, I have made Oshkosh announcements. I will be having meet and greets uh, on Friday and Saturday. On Friday, I'll be having a meet and greet in conjunction with Josh from uh, Mr. Aviation 101. We'll be doing a meet and greet together uh, at, over at FlightFlix. And all that information is on BaronPilot.net um, for the exact time and location and the booth and all that kind of fun stuff. So um, be sure to uh, go on to baronpilot.net if you're going to be at Oshkosh and check it out. And uh, be sure to stop by and say hi. Um, we would love to uh, to see you and, uh, and have a chat. Also, if um, you happen to see me walking around, um, feel free to come up to me and stop me. You don't need to wait till the meet and greet. Um, feel free to, uh, to say hi. So. Looking forward to Oshkosh. It's going to be a good time. It's going to be fun. It'll be great to see you guys, meet you guys. And um, for me, of course, seeing the airplanes and all the uh, new products is, is always fun. As you can see from Sun and Fun, you know, lots of changes. So hopefully I can uh, keep myself a little more in check in, uh, in Oshkosh than I did Sun and Fun. But I'm not going to hold my breath on that one either. <laughs> Back. Power's out. 
windows off. There you go. Next stop five. Eight, next. Flaps up. Right at Echo Pulling Charlie on ground point eight. Ground point